Have you ever wondered how long Sims can last with free will turned on? I know I certainly did. So I put it to the test. I made three different Sims to see who can make it a whole 30 days. Not 30 Sim days, 30 real days. In other words, an entire month. I made a clean Sim, an active Sim, and a nice Sim. Not only will we test who's gonna make it all 30 days, we'll also see how it affects their decision making throughout this video. So now I ask the question, can Sims 1 run on free will for 30 straight days? I filled the lot with tons of different items that they might want to use. Items I was also curious about, as well as skill items. I was really concerned about a fire hazard, but I did add a stove nonetheless. I even added a parrot to see if they were smart enough to take care of it during this process. At this point, I had no idea if this was gonna work whatsoever, but I hit save and I just let it run. So first off, let me just say, I was surprised that they survived. Nice Tytar was cooking while standing in trash. Active Tytar was being active, showing off that active body. And clean Tytar was sound asleep. Clearly keeping up with that house was just too much for him. The parrot had died and it had the option to clean or mourn it. I wondered if they weren't able to take care of parrots or if it was all pets in general, but I would test this theory out later. They also painted, so I bought a ton more easels for them to work with. They broke the hot tub and there's quite a lot of trash everywhere. We got barefoot active Tytar stomping out those roaches. The one thing I hadn't checked that day was their skills. I totally forgot to even check. So I waited one more day to do that. Day three was here and they were still alive. The trash got significantly worse. Little did I know Sims had died on the lot. Not sure how, but they had. The toilets kept getting super clogged. It made me wonder how many could they clog. As for those skills I mentioned earlier, Clean Tytar, he got halfway up that logic meter. Nice Tytar was apparently even more logical and a little bit creative after three days on free will. Active Tytar, surprise, surprise, almost maxed out his body. He did a little bit of logic and a little bit of creativity as well. As I transitioned into the next day, I saw neighbors getting plugged up at the exit path, including the pizza man, which surprised me. I didn't know you could call for pizzas on free will. And all the Titars were officially dead. Not to worry though, that's what saving is for. I was not about to scrub through 24 hours of footage to find out what had happened. I'm just not doing it. So at this point, I ran the game for another day to see if they would make it. And they're gone again. See, something was wiping them out, but I wasn't sure what was doing it. This time, I had a sneaking suspicion as to what happened. Instant replay, please. All that trash is a fire hazard. Because that first wipeout was for unknown reasons and the second one was from an unlucky fire, I thought running it for one more day just to see what would happen. Look, I'm gonna be honest. At this point in the experiment, I was getting a little worried. We're only on day six, there's no way they can make it all 30 days, but I pushed it. I also had to lower the graphic settings because the game was beginning to show some signs of struggle. Okay, what on earth is going on? Because clearly they starved, but up to this point, they've been able to keep themselves alive. So was it the clutter, the trash, was the space too small? It's not a muddy issue. At this point, I was still resistant to scrub through 24 hours of footage to find out what had gone wrong. So instead, I expanded their living space. Perhaps their pathing was getting stuck while trying to feed themselves. I also bought a robot to see if a clean environment would make things a little easier for them. And dead again. At this point, I had to review the footage. And let me tell you, that took a long time. You better appreciate this. Hit the like button, hit the subscribe button. I did this for you. It's the least you could do. For some reason, all of these Sims were coming onto the lot to die. These tombstones weren't making it any easier for them to leave, resulting in even more death. Come to find out my Sims were literally being spooked to death. Free will could not overcome their spookage. So I sold all of their tombstones. May they rest in peace. Also regarding the dead parrot, I decided to purchase some fish tanks to see if they could handle feeding fish. So we'll see how that does. 
Well, the fish didn't make it. But seeing that my sins were alive on day 10 gave me hope. Selling the tombstones had eliminated the ghosts, so I was more confident in having trash everywhere again. So this time, I really wanted to put things to the test. So I deleted their sink, just to see how many dishes could pile up. How are things going to play out going from day 10 to day 14 without a fire hazard and no ghosts? And most importantly, could they survive? Well, it looks like deleting the sink did that trick. And clearly they had been doing more paintings. But I'm not sure which sim did the painting because there's only one sim left. The hardiest sim of them all. Clean Titar. Something had happened here, so I scrubbed through the footage again, and it turns out I accidentally left them another way to start a fire. And so they did. Active Titar along with Nice Titar met their end. But I was not deterred. My original goal was to see if I could keep at least one sim alive for 30 days, so Clean Titar ventured on alone. I think every sim in the neighborhood had perished at this point. I hired him a... private dancer. Don't judge the man. He's desperate and alone, all right? She helped him out with his social life. And hey, just in case he liked things the other way, I hired Chip for him too. There were dance cages, pads, and a DJ setup. I left him and his <laughs> companions alone for a while. So it had been an entire week since my last checkup with Clean Titar, and he had prevailed against all odds. But more interestingly, the dancers were still here. They too were hardy like Clean Titar. Perhaps they saw his situation and felt bad for him, so they too joined the Fellowship of the Sims. But at this point, I began to notice some serious framerate issues with the game. And that's saying a lot because my PC, while it's not the best out there, it can handle most modern games at maximum graphics. I was on the lowest graphics settings and it was lagging so bad, I knew I would need a lot of helping hands to clean the place up. And to my surprise, I discovered you can get multiple Bone Hildas. I bought six and sent them all off at the same time. Maybe that would help with the frame rate issues. Well, the dancers never left their post. And after more than 1,000 days of the game running in Sims time, Clean Titar had made it all 30 days. So, what's my biggest takeaway from this experiment? Yes, they can live on free will, technically as long as you want, as long as your game doesn't start crashing on you. As the game continues to run, it starts getting bogged down, even with the lowest graphics settings and minimal trash. And also, depending on the personality of your sim, they skill up different things. Who would have thought? What was your biggest takeaway from this video? And as always, until next time, I will see you guys later. Some dude named Taita just sold this huge house to our amazing family. I'm glad we'll have a space big enough for all of us now. Something about this house just feels a little bit off though. Are we being watched?